YouTube plaque. What we do for these wedding appointments. And then I'm like, why am I doing this? Welcome back guys. I'm back home. I've been back for like a good week now. It is Monday. It is a fresh week. I'm picking up the camera. I'm back to vlogging and there's just loads to catch up on. So let's get into it. I've actually been getting a really bad like rash around my eyes. Obviously you can't see it in the minute because I have got makeup on but it's so dry and crusty and sore. So I have got an appointment tomorrow at the doctor's to hopefully kind of get this resolved. It's been like an underlying issue and then it's just been getting worse. I think it's generally probably heightened to the stress of everything at the minute. I feel like life is just feeling a little bit overwhelming. I am trying to juggle so much that I've just been having a little step back the past few days because my health has been taking a backseat and I feel like it's just been kind of like a wake up call, which I might just get into in a different video because I want this video to be a good update and a catch up and hopefully you're all caught up on the South Africa vlog and what we got up to. It was honestly a trip of a lifetime and it was really one of my favourite vlogs so hopefully you're caught up on that. Now we're back home, we're back to reality. We've got a few weeks now in the lead up to the wedding. There's going to be a few weeks, no actually less than a week by the time this video goes up until my launch date for my collection which I'll be sharing everything in Sunday vlog which is so exciting so there's a lot happening in life right now so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to pick up the camera it's Monday and just catch you up I've also been trying out a good few new products that I've had in so I'm going to unbox some of my latest packages with you which I feel like I haven't really done on the vlogs in a while but one of them is very exciting I've had this Rare Beauty delivery. This is insane, the packaging for this. I have already opened it, as you can see. I'm having to hold this above my head for you guys to see it. This is all of the cream blushes and also the latest launches of the blushes, which are the powder blushes along with the brushes. So I have been using them, but I haven't put it on today. I thought I'd do it on camera for you guys. The one I've been loving is, I believe it is called, is the happy one, which is this shade. It's quite pink. And then there's another one, which is hope, which is a little bit darker. So I'm going to show this one for you. This is the liquid blush. I've never ever tried these out before. I know they've gone viral on TikTok and everywhere, but I wanted to try them out. So I'm going to try the liquid blush on one cheek and maybe the powder on the other so you can see the difference. But but I've also been using the new, I feel like I'm going on off on a complete tangent here because my brain is just like, ah, I want to share everything new with you guys. I've also been using the latest Pillow Talk Plump Gasm lip gloss. Look at the packaging, how beautiful this is. This is the fair medium and then there's also the darker pillow talk shade. But I've got this on. It's been on for a good 30-40 minutes and it is plumping these lips. It has that real kind of like tingling feel but it's not sticky at all. It glides on so nice. I honestly love this. It's been my new obsession since I've got back. We actually had a wedding at the weekend and I did a full wedding guest makeup breakdown look, which you'll see over on my TikTok. And I used this and it really did last. I absolutely love it. And a new product, well, it's not new to you guys. Maybe you guys have been using it. But for me is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have got it on right now. The camera's going really kind of bright. And then hopefully it'll focus on my skin so you can see it and the colour it's picking up. But this is shade 5.75. 
this has been a new favorite of mine because it's actually really been lasting i'm excited to kind of keep using that and see how it takes for my skin but i'm going to try out these rare beauty blushes with you as well whilst i'm finishing it getting ready for the day so this is the liquid blush i'm just going to put a little bit here on my cheek as you can see this one is very pink this is in the shade hope and then i'm going to do the dry brush on the other side so this is actually the blush brush to blend it in with this is the wet one and this is the dry one so i have been using them alongside but i just feel like these really are such a nice formula wow look at that obviously i am going to blend it in so it's not so prominent but it just gives your cheeks such a lovely like lift and pop i feel like putting it over the top of my makeup after i've been doing it probably isn't blending as well but I do find that the powder blush kind of sits on the skin a little bit better. I'm not sure if that's just because I've been using this and kind of dabbing it in. Over the past like year or two years, I'm just putting this on and you can see how beautiful. It's got this lovely like highlight shimmer going through it. But this is a lot more subtle. I think I actually prefer the powder to the liquid ones. But I'd probably go for the liquid one if I was doing more of like a no makeup look. But I feel like this is sitting on my skin a lot better. And it's got this lovely highlight shimmer to it. If I come in, maybe it's not really focusing that well. But yeah, we are so close now, guys. I'm obviously going to be doing all of the wedding updates in the lead up. But we're nearly like a month out, which is actually insane. I can't believe it's happening. It's really starting to kick in and feel real now. And the amount of wedding admin we've been doing, we obviously have been catching up since we got back from South Africa. And pretty much like every waking hour, we are working and organizing this wedding. It is taking so much out of me that I was on the phone to my mom and I was like I feel like I'm going through waves and I'm like I'm really excited and then I'm like why am I doing this and I feel like if you're a bride-to-be you might also understand this feeling because weddings I feel like the in this day and age have just got so out of hand like the cost of it the extent of it is just crazy but I'm sure it's all going to be worth it. We are now kind of doing all of the last finalizations of like stationery, the logistics of the day, like really kind of homing down on the schedule of the day. And obviously because we are doing it abroad, we're also organizing like the day before, the day after, all of the activities around the wedding week, which is also a lot to organize because I just feel like there's such a pressure of all of our favorite people flying in that I really want to try and accommodate their time and maximize it as much as possible and be able to spend the time with our guests as well a lot of planning a lot of organization and basically what i've been doing behind the scenes for the past week which is just catching up on everything so i have my next dress fit in for my second dress which is tomorrow which i will take you along with me and i'm also going to be in london i've got to shoot a campaign in the morning and then i want to do a little bit of shopping in between and then i'll be going to my dress appointment as well and i've got loads of meetings also i'll be doing in london this week and catching up with everyone so lots going on the home updates are also underway the renovation has been happening in the garage for my studio the arches have now been built which i will put on screen because they are looking so good already and i feel like even seeing them now in there it's making me it's making it easier for me to kind of envision the room a little bit more because before it was obviously just like a real kind of blank canvas four walls and obviously there's still a lot of process to happen in there the ceiling and everything hasn't been done the windows haven't been added the doors aren't in we've put the arches in and they've turned out really good so we obviously still need to kind of prime them paint them insert the shelving and the doors that i'm going to be putting in the middle ones is more of like a cupboard so i'll also insert the renders so you can kind of see the vision of how these will look as well so that's a little bit of an update where the garage is at and i feel like the house just needs a nice spring home refresh this was the package that Charlotte Tilbury kindly sent with the plump gasm. So this is the one that I've already unpackaged and been using, which is the light medium. And then they also have the other shade, which is the medium deep. So there's two shades of the plump gasm. I couldn't recommend this enough. If you can get your hands on it, then please do, because you will not regret it. It's such a good lip gloss. And then I've also got a top up of the Pillow Talk palette. This is a definite favorite of mine. I actually used this this weekend for a wedding guest makeup look. It's such a beautiful palette with these colors in. I'm probably gonna be using it very similar alongside my wedding looks as well. This 
is a very, very exciting package because guess what is in here, guys? I've actually really kind of dreamt of having one of these and it is my YouTube plaque for recently hitting 100K subscribers on here. So this is all down to you guys. So thank you for subscribing, following, liking, commenting and being part of the family on here. So I wanted to open this with you because it's yours as much as mine. This is definitely gonna be going in at the new office. I'm gonna frame it, put it up on the wall, and I'm very proud to have my YouTube plaque. So it says, presented to all co-rows for passing 100,000 subscribers. So I believe after this one, you get the gold plaque. So hopefully we can continue to grow and work towards getting the next one but this is a lovely milestone that sometimes i need to always step back and appreciate because sometimes i just never appreciate how far i've come so i really want to take this moment to say thank you to you hopefully you are subscribed if you haven't please do join the family and i'm very excited to continue growing at this channel i'm really trying to put a lot of time and effort into it and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the vlogs and everything that has been going on for the past few months of this year. It's been quite a wild ride and there's a lot more exciting content to come as well. I then had some other lovely packages in. I definitely wanted to share this one from Diptyque. Absolutely love their products and they've had the new bougie candles which I thought I would share because I'm always a sucker for a candle. In here, let me open the box, the packaging alone, I always like to keep these boxes just for using for like storage purposes, I feel like they always look really chic. Let me unbox this and show you. A box of candles, it smells delicious as soon as I've opened it and this is the Diptyque and Cafe Valette. So it's like a menu which is really cool packaging. And in here is the different candles and the smells. And I believe there is three. It's actually a really nice dust bag as well. We have got the cafe one, which you can see there's a lot of coffee beans on here and it very much smells like coffee beans. So I feel like this is actually probably a good one to maybe have in the kitchen or like in a study. We've also got the biscuits, which, I'm going to open it so you can see the packaging because the Diptyque candles are always so beautiful. I love the packaging of them. This has like a really kind of warm, it's got like cinnamon smell to it. So absolutely love this. And I feel very lucky and grateful that these have been sent to me. And I've also received some pieces from Bruna, which I never actually had anything from her range before. And she's got some beautiful jewellery pieces. And I actually think these are going to be so perfect in Sorrento. These pearls are going to be beautiful with some of my bridal looks and obviously holiday looks. But the packaging alone of this is beautiful. You get the little dust bags for the jewellery as well. And they come in these soft cushioned boxes. So I've got the pearls. There's some other lovely beautiful jewellery pieces in here as well. This is also a pearl necklace. If I come in close, you'll be able to see a little bit better. It's this gold slinky chain with the big pearl. So this is definitely more of a statement necklace, which I think would look beautiful with more of a minimal outfit. And then lastly, I got this lovely package from Dalesford Farm, which is actually from the lovely team at Elizabeth Arden. They have sent me a lovely Easter package. So we've got the organic Dalesford Rosé, which I've not actually tried before. So this is definitely going to be going in my fridge and being put to use. Hopefully when the weather gets a little bit better, we can get the garden furniture out and make a toast with this. So this is actually the fizz anti one. Then I've also got an Easter egg in here, which I kept saying to Chris, I had been wrong because we were away for Easter and I had no Easter eggs. And then we've got the Elizabeth Arden, the ceramic capsules, and then also the Lift and Firm Day Cream, which I've not tried this one. This is the Advanced Ceramide one. And I've been using Elizabeth Arden products for years now. They never fail me. This was such a lovely package that they've shared with me. So that rosé will be going definitely in my fridge and enjoyed, I'm sure, over the next weekend. But yeah, I've just had some really lovely pieces in and I definitely obviously wanted to show you the YouTube plaque. 
it's dinner time and since we've been back from south africa i feel like we've just been kind of out of our routine and trying to get back into routine so as you guys know we love it we're back on hello fresh and we've just had the box arrive obviously we have it we usually get it delivered either like a sunday evening or a monday and it came early this morning so i can start prepping out our meals for the week we've got a few meals in here so let's decide what we're going to eat tonight i've also got an amazing discount for you guys that gets you 60 percent off your first box which if you think about it is if you haven't tried it before it's like 60 percent off your weekly shop so it saves a lot of money and it's just so much easier having it delivered to your door you don't have the faff of going to the supermarket we just find it so much easier and especially times like this when we're trying to get back into routine and eating a little bit healthier as well i will leave all the details on the screen the code is 60 rows and then you also get free desserts for life which is amazing so if you carry on with your subscriptions you constantly will get free desserts with your boxes you can pause it or cancel it at any time for instance when we were away we obviously paused ours for like a good two or three weeks or if you don't want to be keep using it every week you can pause it and go in and out which i find it's just so much easier and flexible so highly recommend using it whilst you can with a discount code it's only valuable for a certain amount of time in this week's box we've got a few different options so we've got roasted aubergine and chickpea curry which actually looks delicious so we've got that one which is one of the classic recipes so you can get family favorites you can get classics you can get calorie there's also some recipes which is this one which is a great one which is a part of the quick range so if you know you're maybe going out or you just come home late from work and you just want to wrap up a quick dinner these are great options as well i think i might do this one tonight actually i've never tried this recipe before i always hold on to my favorite ones from hellofresh i have like three or five and we always recreate them at home as well it's just a good way to try out new recipes and change things up in the week because i feel like sometimes you can lose inspo on what to cook especially midweek for us and then the last one i've got is a sambal teriyaki chicken stir fry and this is actually part of stacy solomon's new range with HelloFresh. so i'm actually excited to try this one as well so all new recipes to give a go but i think i'm going to do the korma and mango chutney glazed chicken let's unbox this i've got all my packaging here you can just keep it together obviously add up the numbers to the recipe cards and it is simple as that you follow the six easy steps with the recipe and usually they are delicious so i'm going to cook this and try it out so i've got a helper manager supervisor no you're sous chef you're you're my assistant no no all right, let's see. No, because no. No, because no. <laughs> no, because no. Right, so what's the ingredients? Right, we need green beans. So we have got couscous. couscous. Oh, I love couscous. Yep. So Chicken it gives stock. you the exact amount that you need, which is always perfect, because sometimes I feel like we overbuy things and then never use it all up. Yeah, this one's quite a simple recipe. We've literally got chicken couscous. stock, mango chutney, korma paste, couscous, chicken breast, and tomato. Okay, I'll get the green beans, and yeah, we also need Greek say, yogurt. Very simple.
good morning troops i've just done my reformer pilates this morning i haven't done one rebel in a while i've been doing it locally to me but i do love that class and it's just like such a good way to start the day i'm worried though that i've got my shake in my teeth um but i'm just heading off now to end of the stories i've got a store appointment to check out some of their new in at spring range i've then got my dress fit in for my second dress at half penny which is very very exciting to see that and get it all fitted and then I've got back to back meetings this afternoon. I'm actually having lunch at Sketch. I haven't been there in years. So that should be really nice with the Elemis team. But I thought I'd just check in before a busy day ahead. And I'm actually excited to do a little bit of shopping in under the stories. I haven't looked in there in a while. And I've seen online that they have some lovely new bits. So let's do a little bit of a try on. pieces in stock and also so many like wedding guest outfits like occasion wear the dresses were absolutely stunning I feel like that was probably one of the best times of running under the stories in the stock that they had as you can hear I'm out of breath because I'm currently pacing it to half penny now so I do not want to be late for this appointment for my fitting <sighs> your girl is out of breath I was like running on the tube what we do for these wedding appointments <laughs> but I'm excited to see this dress so this one is my second dress of the wedding which I'll be changing into and obviously I'm going to be keeping it under wraps until the day so I've just come out of my fit and I'm just sitting having a five minute rest because I feel like I've been running around this morning but oh my god I've just tried on my second dress and I've fallen in love with it all over again. So we've got to do a few adjustments to it, which I'll be coming back in two weeks to see and then hopefully collect. They have honestly nailed it with this. I was going back and forward with this second look for so long when we were first like originally trying on them. And then when I put this on, I was like, this is so me. So I'm very excited on the day to get into this in the evening so it's going to be so much more like comfortable and easy to move around and it's so cute there's kind of like two elements to it as well which is fun that i can play around with and then i've actually got another dress from half penny that i'm going to be wearing around the wedding week which i also tried on we just need to make one more adjustment to that and then it's ready so in two weeks those two dresses will be ready to go and also my main wedding dress as well i'll be going and trying on and hopefully collecting so it really is like crunch time now it's all starting to come together but trying them all on again has made me excited i feel like the past week i've been like so stuck in the admin of it and getting myself like stressed out with all these kind of details and then coming and trying on the dresses just makes you all excited again and i just can't wait for you guys to see all of these bridal looks so i've just picked up my items from end of the stories because i was rushing for my appointment earlier and i actually spotted this headband how cute i feel like because my hair's grown out at the minute it actually works quite well for just having it a little bit off my face so i've just quickly put it in but the stuff in end of the stories is so good wow cannot get my words up today i've got around 20 minutes to kill before my next appointment I'm going for lunch at sketch so i thought i'll just quickly pop to the shop so i've been wanting to try out a few of the sunglasses i want to get a white pair for obviously like around the wedding and i've seen celine have a really nice pair and also Mew Mew. so i thought i'd kill 20 minutes and go do some retail shopping <laughs> Okay, 
day. I had two meetings since I've last caught up. My hair has gone a lot more deflated. This weather, it's like sunny, raining, hailing. I cannot keep up, but just traveled back and got home. I literally have one hour to catch up on work. I've got to edit a YouTube video and I've got to send everything off for sign off for the collection in the next hour. And then I've got to go pick Chris up, come back and we've got a call with the wedding planner tonight. So it has been a back to back day, which seems like it is like every day at the minute. Things are just very busy. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby boy. This is the best part coming home, huh? Hello, you've been good boy. <laughs> Hi, my sugar plum. Yep. Having those is priority and everybody else. Or you can give me everybody. Yeah. Um, but I think so. Then we're going into so, three. So we've just had a call with our wedding planner. I feel like every time I'm picking up the camera, I'm looking more and more dishevelled because I had to run out for a doctor's appointment as well. But I'm going to go take my makeup off, get my pyjamas, and Chris is taking over dinner. We're doing HelloFresh again tonight. We're doing, what are we doing? The teriyaki. Please don't eat more lunch too. It's so weird. I'm gonna wash it and eat it. We are having, what are we having tonight? Sambal teriyaki chicken stir fry. I am head chef like I was last night. And this is a 20 to 25 minutes, so it's a quick one. Medium spice. Sponsored Which is what by- we need, because we are hungry after our- Stacey Solomon. <laughs> Thanks, Stacey. We are hungry after our hour and a half call on the wedding planning. I feel like, imagine having a night of not doing wedding planning. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's never ending. Hopefully it's going to be worth it. Right, I'm going to leave you to it and go get my pyjamas and get this makeup off. shoes because I'm on the hunt for the shoes that I actually want to wear on my wedding day. I do have my Jimmy shoes that I'm going to wear around them but I feel like I need something with like a thicker heel because there's going to be grass so I need to come and have a look and just try some on. Obviously I might not purchase today, I kind of want to make a decision on it but there's a Manolo and I want to try a few other pairs just spotted these ones and then I'll come and have a look at the Birkenstocks after. I also think these are so classic and they won't go out of date and the reason I love them is because you get the thicker heel with them. So like I was saying, these are going to be so much easier on the grass and also the heel isn't so big because I don't want to have a really big heel. I want them to be quite comfy. So I have been eyeing these up. I've come in a few times and looked at them. So I might try these and then also the ones without the slingbacks. They're just open. I just feel like this could be a really nice, comfy wedding shoe. So let's try them on. So this one was actually in a size five. What do we think? I actually feel like these are so comfortable compared because the heel's not so big. And I like the fact it's a lot more sturdier. It's just the fact that this is silver and I obviously will be wearing a lot of gold, but then obviously some of my jewelry is gonna be maybe a bit of a mix. I'm not sure. I just think these are gonna be such a good wedding shoe. I've brought you in closer so you can see the detail of them. 
they're just so pretty they're not a huge height which is what i like but i just i'm looking for something like this and obviously that would also look cute afterwards that like you can wear this with like jeans a blazer i don't want it to be just for the wedding obviously i want them to be versatile because of the price tag these are a lot and i'm wondering could i maybe try and find these at vista i'm not sure or if they have like a discount on any of the websites i think these are the ones i've got my eye on girls what do we think yay or nay for the wedding doing a little bit of browsing and I've just spotted this in Sporty and Rich and it's really caught my eye this striped shirt I feel like this is one of those that you could just put with jeans some white shorts put it over a bikini it actually comes with a matching trousers as well which I love it's this like chocolate brown color so I have actually just quickly tried it on over my bodysuit but it comes quite small I tried the small on and obviously it fits but I actually like shirts a little bit oversized so I'm gonna see if they have a medium and then they only have extra small and I think large in the trousers but I feel like this could be such a cool set to travel in just over like beachwear could even put this with my new clogs I don't know I just there's something about this that I really like with the logo here even just with some white jeans this would be such a cute look so I think I might see if they've got it in a medium and I'll just take it home and try it on it is a little bit pricey for a shirt but I feel like I will get my wear out of this I love the chocolate tones I've just checked online and they actually have the shirt but not the trousers so I think I'm just going to order it and see if the medium fits. So I just got back to the car in like a split second of it pouring down. I don't know if you can hear the rain. Welcome back to England. I thought I'd share with you what I got. I did look at the Sporty and Rich top and I'm not sure if I actually shared it on the vlog, but I found it online. So I think I'm gonna order it in the medium. And you know, when you have that kind of like panic because the lady who was working there, she was like, they've completely sold out. These are the last two left, which makes you wanna buy it even more. But I was like, no, I'm not just gonna buy it. The small fit, but I know the medium will just have a little bit more of that oversized feel that I like. So I think I'm gonna order it online. So I ended up getting the on trainers. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna do this really fast. I have been wanting to get these for so long, and every time I go into the store, they never have my size because I find with these you have to up half a size because the size five have always been tight on me. And then I was in Spitalfields and they had the 5.5, so I went with these ones, which are the Cloud Tech ones and these are meant to be good for like hit training and also running which is going to be perfect and they are so lightweight i tried the one in store they feel like you're not even wearing anything on your feet they're just so comfortable so i'm really excited to wear these in and it is definitely going to motivate me to go on a 5k in the morning and i liked these because the white and black i feel like will match with everything and my assistant Michelle was with me and she's got like three pairs. She was like, I wear them all the time. So I'm very glad I've caved and got these. They've been on my list and I managed to hunt them down in my size. And then as you saw, I also got the Birkenstocks, which I ended up going with the suede ones. I did try the other ones on, but the suede ones were instantly so much more comfy. I know these are like not groundbreaking at all. You've probably all got them or seen them. But I thought they're perfect for spring, easy to wear with everything, matches with this outfit. They managed to have my size, so I got two pairs of shoes, which I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. I didn't manage to find one of the tops that I'm looking for. It's actually from Ganny, and it's so cute, but I have found it online. So I'm going to order that and the Sporty and Rich top. And I feel good for a little bit of a retail therapy. I haven't shopped in ages, and I've been selling a lot of my things over on Vinted. I've actually got a lot more to upload. So if you do want to ever shop any of my wardrobe, you can find it over there. And yeah, I feel like it's a good way to kind of purge your wardrobe and then invest in pieces that I know I'm going to get my use out of. So I definitely need to do my wardrobe switch over that is to come but at the minute i have no inspiration it's currently pouring down so i'm like getting all my spring summer stuff out right now doesn't seem right i'm going to go back i've got lots of work to catch up on this afternoon and i'll pick up with you when i'm home